Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about some strategies to be able to deal with the stress and the anxiety of what is going on in the world right now. So stay tuned and hit like and subscribe because you're going to love this video. Hi guys, what a year 2020. All of us who sat there in New Year's Eve times were sitting there doing vision boards for this year and the goals we wanted to accomplish and the places we wanted to go and the holidays, all a big line right, wiped right through it. Oh my goodness, we'll be talking about this one for a long time. I think it's going to be around for a long time and on quite a serious note, we get bombarded left and right. I'm sure you would agree that sometimes you've got to put the phone down, you've got to turn the radio off in your car, whatever it may be, because doesn't it get too much? Have you ever just gone, oh, I'm just kind of over it right now, right? We hear this from people. Yeah, it's like you go on Facebook and there's things all shared and people fighting with people about conspiracy theories and all the chaos that's happening in the world and you just feel like you're getting drawn into this negative charge energy flow, the matrix. And so what we've been doing is, um, you know, protecting our energy and jumping in there to have a quick look or post for the businesses and jumping right on out because we don't want to get caught up in the back and forth of commenting on no. people's you know theories i mean it's such good awareness and everyone is starting to wake up which is the best thing but what this chaos is actually doing is starting to create a divide between humanity so people on this side of the fence and this people on that side of the fence and no matter what side has what opinion the other person's not going to like it regardless, right? So this is the time to pull this up and remember to be the observer of exactly what's happening. If you don't like the other person's comment, please don't fight them. That's their comment. That's what their, their opinion, their thoughts. Everyone's on, a, on their own journey, on their own, you know, development, personal development and their own, you know, people are only just starting to wake up to all of the stuff that is happening in this world and, you know, the, the government structures and, you know, the rules and the control over people. So let them, you know, be in that. That's completely fine. But if you know about it already, just just take a step back and be the observer and try and have compassion for where they are on their journey at this point in time because we've all been there. We've all been in a third dimensional dense space with fear, worry, anxiety, stress, like, you know, the control here in Australia has just been stepped up you know, tenfold in the last two weeks. Melbourne's on a complete shutdown. Um, New South Wales shut their borders and Queensland now sh shut their borders so no one can travel until after Christmas now. So, you know, it's, very, it's really sad for some people because they have family and children in other states and they can't do anything about it. So, um, look, it is, created, it is creating a divide and we believe this might be just the beginning of, you know, some more chaos to come. But what we are here to help you with is to lift your mood, to look at the positive things, to take a step back out of the matrix and be the observer, show compassion, go into your inner temple when you don't like like something that someone said to you and question yourself. The new world is questioning. Question everything. Do your own research. There's no more given to you on a silver platter. You have to do your own research and go through, back through your heart chakra and wash the truth through. Use your heart as a compass for your navigation in this world. It is the new world. That is the truth seekers new plan of the journey. And we're finding that, you know, if we take a step back, we put um, more high vibe into our daily routines rather than getting sucked into that social media matrix. It's much a be it's such a better feeling for us and it's not killing our vibe. Oh, I, and I would add to that and go, actually take deliberate effort to and this is and like if you if you're strong and centered and you're zen and out already then keep doing what you're doing but if you're getting anxiety and you're feeling overwhelmed and you're feeling like 
fear of where is this going and we're, we're hopeless to be able to change it and oh my god what's happening to humanity for goodness sake take some definite action turn off some notifications in your telephone maybe turn on some other ones maybe start taking some positive action and I want to share with you some things that I feel would be helpful one of them would be to make a list of people you can call each day, day, even if it's only two or three, and ring some old friends, ring some people in the family that you haven't connected with for a while, and ring them up and have a high vibe conversation with them. Don't, because you haven't spoken to them for a long time and they're probably a good friend of yours, so ring, connect, and see how they're going. And if the conversation goes in the wrong direction, steer it back or keep it nice and tell them that you appreciate them, that you were thinking of them, and that uh, you just wanted to connect with them because you appreciate them in, in your life. I, I, I rang a, a friend recently and I saw that it was his birthday and it came up on Facebook. And instead of just writing a message, I, I rang him and I didn't get him. And he actually, he rang me back about 10 minutes later and I said, look, buddy, I know it's your birthday and you're busy and you'll be at work or running the guys or whatever. But look, I just wanted to give you a quick call on your birthday because I appreciate your friendship and I hope you're going well. And I was just thinking of you and I thought it would be better to say it than put it in a message. And he was quiet for a while. He went, oh, well, geez, mate, thanks very much. Yeah, look, I appreciate the friendship too. Um, really glad you called, you know, gonna have lunch with the wife and do this and do that. And we had, we just, it was so quick, guys. But the difference that would have made to him and the difference it made for me because when you have that human connection like that and you break yourself out of that invisible world that our devices or our computers put us in that human connection is powerful another thing you can do is go back to something that you love if you're used to before all this you used to love fly fishing or you used to <laughs> love uh, playing some sort of you know soccer or you used to like you know watching card games or playing snooker or pool or table tennis or whatever it may be. Do something like that. Go back to some sort of activity. For those of you that draw or do knitting or art or craft, go back to some of the things, singing. That, you, yeah, things that you used <laughs> to love and try those again. Singing in the car rather than putting the Rotten Talk radio on. It drives me crazy. I, I can't have that on at the moment and I find that I'm either listening to positive YouTube stuff and that's a point too. I'm dodging the whatever conspiracy stuff that might have come across my path and go to something that's motivational, inspirational or educational, helping you to grow and to progress. Look for other areas of your life that you can have gratitude and things that you can be grateful for. Look at films or um, documentaries and information that is uplifting. So nature type documentaries can be a beautiful way to help you to get more centered and, and feel more connected within. Spending some time doing some deep breathing, some mindfulness exercises, you know how much we are into the mind. And if you uh, click on our website, awakening.education, or do some um, looking into what we do, we've got some positive music links that we put in there. Also, our daily guided meditation exercise, if you're interested, is a great little thing that you can do to just spend some time on yourself. Uh, a nice hot bath with some beautiful relaxing music on, some time out just for you to just get back to normal because I really want you to just think about looking after yourself, looking after your diet, looking after how much water you're taking into your body and really look after yourself because we can't control what's going on out there, guys. We can't influence it, but we can influence what's going on in here and most importantly, what's going on in here. So do some definite things and if you're in a spot, if you've got some things going on, send us an email and we will connect and answer back. And we've been doing this with some people and just talking them through some difficult concepts they're trying to get their head around. We are here for you guys. We appreciate your support. Anything you wanna add, Rox, before we go? Oh, we just wanna say that we love you and we know it's tough out there, guys. We all, we all have to actually come back together 
the you know the split is hurting us all and we all need to come back together we are one and we can look after each other and grow and expand together so that's why we're sharing all of our love to you and that is our purpose to help inspire you grow and live a beautiful life too stay happy guys do what you love be positive and we'll be back in contact with you real soon Thank you.